My name is Linda Brooks Burton. I'm the branch manager here at the Bayview Library and welcome to the Bayview Library's 31st annual poetry recital. Now, I've, I've only been here 12 of those 31 years. So um, I'm gonna introduce the man though that has been here all those 31 years and he's uh, a local poet, uh, community activist, um, small businessman. He is Larry Ware. Please welcome him up. Thank you very much and good evening and we look for some more f folks to show up here. Um, uh, thank you uh, and welcome to the Bayview Annie Wadden Branch and uh, thank you Linda and let's give Linda and her staff a great round of applause for their hard work and, and Eric and his staff and Dave, they do a wonderful job covering this event and uh, some of you this may be your first time. Uh, I used to gather poets and writers and we used to meet outside there and we uh, reserved a community room here and just brainstorm and I say, hey, let's get a recital started and here we are 31 years later and still going strong. And um, um, it is customary that we pay homage and tribute to those uh, that are not here to share this evening with us. And uh, a person who is very special and dear to our hearts is Dr. Waylon C. Fuller. We like to dedicate this program to Dr. Fuller. I'd like to dedicate this program to my uncle Ray in Philadelphia who passed away a couple of months ago. And um, I would like to dedicate this to your friends or loved ones who uh, uh, the Lord called home and uh, we're gonna have a wonderful show tonight. And um, I'd like to, um, and we're on the brink of history with uh, uh, Obama being the next president and this poem was inspired out of uh, Martin Luther King, uh, written as a tribute to him, and he had a dream, and now the next dream is gonna be Barack Obama, our next president. So it's entitled, um, Somewhere Someone Has Said and Done Something Beautiful. Out of the midnight blue, as a gentle breeze tames the turbulent winds and the pouring rain, then as the rainy clouds parted, the sunshine smiled upon all of the people of the world. Then the eyes of the sky opened and gave us a beautiful day in the sun. People opened their eyes with a profound respect for life. People opened their hearts and gave love that filled other people's hearts with appreciation for life. People opened their minds to reservoirs of wisdom and poured golden knowledge into the mainstreams of society. As hearts of love and rhythm with life get ready to set sail, from which the ships of friendship will sail, carrying the cargo of love, trust, unity, brotherhood, friendship, and understanding, the raging seas have mellowed down from the love touch waves. Tranquility and sweet serenity is the music we hear. Somewhere someone has said and done something beautiful. I've touched upon every shore as my desire to rise to the golden heights. Inspiration elevated my heart and I soared above every mountain. I spoke of unity for all mankind and the skies were peacefully filled. In fire, in rain, in darkness, in times of storm and times of uncertainty, I know that there will be sunshine because somewhere someone has said and done something beautiful. Thank you. And our, thank you. And our next poet is gonna be uh, uh, Ava. So let's give uh, Ava a great round of applause. She's gonna come up and do some poetry. Thank you. Um, it's nice to be here tonight, and um, I didn't prepare anything, but um, I think I remember some poems by heart that I've written. Um, I'll try to remember them the best I can. <clears throat> uh, the first poem is called San Francisco Man. San Francisco Man. You're really from Oakland, or maybe from Vietnam, an expatriate of England. Take me by the hand, San Francisco man, laughing with comedians, dining with some friends. Um, uh, playing with your band, be my favorite man. 
San Francisco man, you're a real fan of museums in Thailand. Kiss me in the parklands. Love me in the beach sands. That was San Francisco man. <clears throat> and now this poem is so e luna your love is like a sun warm against my skin hot between my legs a fire in my soul my love is like the moon cool and mysterious dark and lovely the light in your eyes. And um, this is another poem. It's, um, uh, it's called Affirmation. Um, the sun is shining. The sky is blue. It's good to be alive, and I love you. I thank God our love is real. I thank God for how happy I feel. Nothing is better than our love. It's the stuff that dreams are made of. That's the <laughs> oh, can I say one more? Should I say one more? <clears throat> and this is the last poem. Um, it's about me because I'm into astrology, or sort of into astrology. And um, it's called uh, Moon and Pisces. My life is a sweet nightmare, strange and scary unreal and unique, dreamy and dangerous. Okay. Okay, our uh, next poet is gonna be uh, Henry Calhoun. Let's give uh, Henry a great round of applause. Well, my name is Henry Calhoun, and uh, I feel that life is poetry. That's why it's been with us for so long. It's just that uh, at certain moments, something really happens to us that inspires us, and we stop and write it down. So I think every moment that we're here, poetry is being made. It's just that you just kind of like have to put it together and just think about it. So this is a poem that I wrote. Uh, it's called Whipped by Love. And it goes like this. I am suffering from the pain. Nights are dark and long. I listen to the cries of a lonely heart. Who cares what I feel? I have been whipped and pushed aside. Love has marked me for life. My flesh feels beaten. My emotions have been dragged. Love is dripping from my eyes. I am so sad. Every drop of love has been drained from me. I am left with the scars from the whipping that you gave me. If there is mercy, love has none. I have been whipped so bad, my body is numb. What is left to give? My life is sickened. The love that I wanted walked away untouched. I am left trembling, holding nothing but myself.
The title of this next poem is called uh, Golden Veil of Life. In silence, in the quietness, the golden veil of life lifted, pushing you into the orbit of time. As the still small voice whispered, allowing you to be, mystery captures your soul. Birth unfolds a freshness, a newness of living. You were there in the beginning, just a little bubble bursting with life, aware yet not knowing the wisdom of your most cherished possession. We grow into the vastness of life, confronted with the elements of living. We learn from falling and from the pain of getting up, trying once again. We hurt in so many places. We heal ever so slowly, sometimes never causing us to be handicapped for life. At times we think we are really great. Our ego dances away only to drop us down in the valley of depression. Our true spirit is what we should be about. If we would just listen, to the quiet, still voice of God that allowed us to be. Within us, the quiet voice of God will speak if only we will listen. Uh, the next poem is called uh, A Mental Nightmare. Once in my life, love opened my mind but rejection closed it forever. I spent the day thinking about what could have been. The next thing I know, I'm sick in love again. I dream of hours and hours, how we could have kissed and loved, hugged and held hands. But something wasn't right because I'm on the outside looking in. I'm looking at your t tender feelings, your kind words, your gentle touch. Each living day is a mental nightmare without you in my life. Now I just pace from one place to the next, living in the pit of love that is so deep, the bottom keeps moving further and further away. I am living in a mental, mental nightmare. Once loved opened my mind, but rejection closed it forever. <laughs> And I got one more poem, the last one. It's called Believe This. On the deep blue sea far away, you will be with me. Believe this if you please. On a rocket ship between the stars of outer space, you will be with me. Believe this also. Deep inside prison walls behind the bars for life, you will be with me. Believe this every day. In a strange land with a strange heart, you will be with me. Believe this. Keep these words close to your mind and never give up. On the sidewalks of poverty, concrete becomes my bed. You will be with me. Believe this. You must believe this. When I finally say goodbye and my voice is shed forever, my last thoughts will be of you. Believe this. God knows you must believe this. Thank you. Our next uh, poet is going to be a Jenny Powell, she's just welcome to see her again. Uh, she's participated in several shows. So let's give a Jenny Powell a great round of applause. How are you doing? And welcome. All right. All right. How much time? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Is this? Is this good? Can you hear me? 
Hi, everyone. I'm going to read from a little book called Word Dancing. And I think I'll start out with some love poems. <laughs> you put that idea in my head. This is called Reflecting. Let me start over. I like everything about him. He hurls impatience at men friends down on their luck who hide out too long on his living room floor. He caresses a serpentine cat who guards the steep, winding staircase to his private world. He laughs about the train wrecks littering his love life. He makes minestrone from scratch the way his grandmother taught. He stretches nice and slow, filling a doorway without making a sound. He caresses a guitar before rippling its strings into sound blasts of anger. He waits, free of time and judgment, for the old scars of a new friend to heal. He is a nurturing silence with Saki at sunset. Let me start over. I like everything about him. I think I have more than one, but I'll have to search for it. <laughs> yeah. One summer I was hanging out with some friends in the mission and um, we were working with the poems of Li Po, the Chinese poet. And Clara would translate into English for us, telling us basically what the poem said and then we would work with that translation and create our own poem. And this is called Endless Longing from Li Po. Together, such words we spoke. Memories of Chang An breathed into our skin, our flesh. Golden light bathed us through open curtains. Sounds of autumn chirped a warning at our well of happiness. Even as we drew close together at night, light frost formed a bleak rim around our mat. Lamp light leaked away and deserted to the moon, leaving futility in its wick. Soon your rose petals divided and reformed beyond the edges of clouds, beauty now above me and far away. My thoughts rippled through waves of bitter longing above and below, tears from my dream soul. Burnt offerings, our flowering lies in embers under a moon, bright and sad. I am a phoenix rising now, searching for my music man. My lute leans on a hardwood column, longs for favor and fidelity. In the past, sweet harmony, where is my music man? Our strings attuned, we played in pairs, mandarin duck and drake. Now a spring wind blows and plucky swallows struggle to carry my tears toward a blue sky. So far away, too far, my love. Our past falters, falls back. Shadows mirror longings. I am broken in the wrenching. Come back, I am broken. Now, the other side of love. I had power once, last Tuesday the 16th. Took all your fancy clothing from the laundry hamper, basement trunk, and upstairs closet. Piled it all in the front seat of your shiny new Pontiac truck. Poured gasoline from your tank and lit it up with an eight-inch hand-painted fireplace match from Pottery Barn. You could see the flames for miles and miles. I didn't have a choice, really. You disregarded my five-minute warning more than once. <laughs> and another one of oh, that same ilk. Lazy Susan, I saw you leaving tonight with a surly foreign wench. 
Buried behind mounds of dirty dishes, I surfaced long enough to see you two slide into your favorite Mercedes. Her fire engine lips pulled on your Egyptian cigarette, and she grazed your skin with her glossy nails. When I finish these dishes and close the cafe tonight, I plan to sit up late in the humid dark and wait. I'll have a kitchen blade in my hand when you come back for more cash the way you do, and then we'll talk. It's time. You ever feel like you don't have quite enough time? I want to finish with this one, uh, this one. Like, and so this, this, I wrote this one day, about time. Seems like I'm running out of time. The world is ready to rumble, showcasing weapons cataclysmic. Inmates are running the asylum. Lost time when I was sleeping beauty and when I chased a tardy rabbit through those looking glass doors. Seems like I'm running out of time. My one true prince is tied up in a colossal traffic jam on the twilight side of Malta. Billboards selling Soylent Green dominate the grimy landscape. Texting outpaces the scriptures. My boots ran over their heels. The wind is blowing down my door too many paces behind. Seems like I'm running out of time. I'll well, do some more poetry here. Uh, these are some new ones that I just wrote, so I won't have to read from them. But uh, uh, also, I want to uh, dedicate this show to three of my favorite entertainers, uh, Bernie Mac, uh, Isaac Hayes, and Levi Stubbs of the Four Tops, who, you know, one of my all-time favorite singers, so I'd like to dedicate this, these poems to them. Um, the first one I'm going to do is uh, uh, it's called Projected Destinations, and it's... Uh, Knowledge is the fuel for the fire that inspires our deep creative desires. It gives us inward depth and outward perceptions, elevating our levels of thought. And as a wave of inner self-expression beautifully flow, let us seek to realize as we visualize the dreams of our heart. Let us treasure the pleasures of life for not living we would never know what life was. And as we master the tools of knowledge, we become the architects of our own destination. Then as the beautification of the inner self progress, we become endowed in the midst of our enlightened visions as we begin to instill and assimilate the golden ways of life. The sign of life is paper in our pockets. Mind power equals green power. Spread the bread, feed your thoughts, inspirations, and desires. And um, as you know, I'm a romanticist. So uh, this next poem, I wrote this a couple of weeks ago. It's entitled, Yes, 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 oh yes. Your lovely lips, they are truly so very sweet. Hey, my sweets, let my heart tell you why you're the sweet love of my life. You kissed my heart with your warm and loving heart. The moment was so beautiful, and the shy guy that I once was is no more. My heart tenderly kissed your heart back. You cuddled all up next to me, then you tenderly kissed me, just melting my heart. Oh, what a joy I feel to know that me and my lady love share a precious love together. Now with each loving kiss we share, my heart can only say to you, my lady love, yes, yes, yes. Your lovely lips, they are truly so very sweet. Uh, while we're on that subject, uh, this one is entitled, The Sweetest Kiss is Always the One That Says, I Love You. It was when I kissed, or was it when you kissed me? Was it the sweetest kiss, a kiss so special, the kind that always warms the heart? When we shared our first sweetheart kiss, you started sighing and crying. I felt your tears of joy. Then you tenderly touched my face. Then you softly whispered, I love you while touching my heart. Now I know. You know. Now we, together we know that 
The sweetest kiss is always the one that says I love you. We share a feeling so dear and near our hearts and a love that, in, that is endearing and everlasting. Now that we realize that it was the sweetest kiss when our hearts touched and said, I love you, the special bond of two hearts beating as one, I look into your loving eyes and feel so blessed. Oh, my heart goes zing with the strings of love. A symphony of love for two. The beauty of knowing now that the sweetest kiss is always one that says, I love you, I love you. Bring your sweet self on over here. Hey, sweets, I'm standing right here in the moonlight waiting for you. And uh, another one, I wrote this as a tribute to Nat King Cole. To me, Nat King Cole is my all-time favorite entertainer. And everybody loved Nat King Cole. And this is entitled, uh, Velvet Splendor, Warm and So Very Tender. Oh, my love, you came to me so softly, so warm and out of a velvet dream. And like the midnight moonlight shining at sea, your eyes begin to sparkle like a sea of beauty on a summer evening. Oh, my love, dreams of you and me romancing, dancing, whining and dining in the evening moonlight, building sand castles by the sea, just you and me. Love for love together as our hearts walk the soft white sandy beaches of paradise. The mellow, sweet, soft summer breeze of your love touches my heart in a warm and loving way. And on our way home, we got caught in the rain, and each and every raindrop smiled after they touched your face, and the warmer raindrops kissed your sweet lips. Velvet splendor, I'll always be in love with you. Velvet splendor, I'll always be in love with life. Velvet splendor, so warm, so tender. Dreams can be beautiful. Dreams can become a reality if you let the love in your heart inspire that which you feel deep inside. Velvet splendor, so warm, so tender. And another one before I uh, let the next poet up. This one is entitled, uh, Write It Out All the Way to the Top. And write on. Inner self-respect became the light of my soul and a way of life. And my heart became entrusted with the virtues of dignity and pride and my outer appearance was just an inner reflection of self-esteem, self-love, respect, and understanding. As I stood alone at the top of my world, I became the builder, engineer, and architect of my own destination. Then as I became totally immersed in the stream of life, I started to write it all out all the way to the top. And as the eyes of truth got brighter, self-love surfaced and warm horizons turned golden as timeless wisdom dazzled in a wave of beauty and splendor and as the gray clouds filled with rain get kissed by the lovely sunshine, the skies turn lovely blue. Then I knew that I could see forever and ever. Now I'm in harmony with myself as the spirits in the temple of wisdom touched my heart and filled my soul, and I became enriched with the many qualities of life. That which appears, disappear, then reappear. Seek the plateau of the horizon, for your field of vision is clear. And when those creative, productive, and constructive thoughts begin to fill your minds, go for it because at one solid moment could strike any minute now. I desire to blow my own horn in a band of glory as heroes march across the sky. I've seen the light of many dawns. I do not lust for showers of unworthy self-glory, for I will reach for the fire that will bring me rain and give my heart for the cause now, because we have chance for righteousness and be the dream of the dreamers. So write your way out, write your way up, write your way over, write your way to the top and don't stop then light up and write it all out, all the way to the top and right on. Fulfilling are the virtues of emotional poise, composure, and self-control. So exert the leadership qualities, lead the way to the top, and right on. And uh, one more before I uh, finish up here. Uh, this, just to show you, uh, you know, you follow, you study and follow all of the great writers and songwriters like Smokey Robinson, Isaac Hayes, uh, Gamble Huff and Bell, Holland Doze and Holland, McFadden and Whitehead, and uh, the Brill Building, Tin Pan Alley writers, uh, the Watt Stack Vote writers, uh, I can go on and on. But um, th that inspiration hits you like, well, Lionel Richie, uh, 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 um, Bill Withers. And just when you think you heard the most beautiful song, somebody, uh, 
poem, somebody comes out of nowhere with some. That's the beauty of uh, life and the arts. Um, <clears throat> this only took me three minutes to write, and it won seven national awards, and Essence magazine, magazine selected for one of the issues. And it was raining one day. This was many moons ago, as Bernie Mac would say, many, many moons ago. And uh, it just, you know, that the rain was falling and fall in love, fall in love. So that is the title of the poem, Fall in Love. And it goes, uh, should a warm smile in the rain turn your days into beautiful sunshine, fall in love. Should a loving kiss awaken you amidst a beautiful dream tenderly in the night, fall in love. Should a beautiful song of togetherness, a sweet song of love, caress and warmly embrace your heart, fall in love. Should you find the feeling real and that someone who is true from deep within their heart, fall in love. As the eyes of the heart look through the windows of the world, they can see that there's just so many beautiful things in life for people to do together. And should you find it wonderful, fall in love. Fall in love with me so we can fall in love with life together. Fall in love. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Would you, would you like to do some poet? Would you like to do some more poetry? Sure, okay. Come on. Ava's going to come up and do a, uh, another poem, so come on up. So, so um, when um, Jeannie Powell did her love poems, I was inspired to do a love poem. And this is one of my love poems. I mean, I was inspired to read one of my love poems. And this is one of my love poems. And it's called, My Adorable Boyfriend. I want to be bothered by love. I want a mess of happiness. I want a little something something every day. And this is another poem I wrote. I guess you'll recognize the name in this poem. It's called I Like Madonna. Uh, fun, blonde, Blue-eyed soul, cute baby butch diva, dancing and singing and sex, fashion and politics and sex, attitude and ambition and sex, around the world and sex, into the pages of history, and sex. And this is another poem I wrote. It's kind of a brutal poem. Um, but um, sometimes this is the way I really feel about love. And the name of this poem is called Love is a four-letter word. It teases me. It taunts me. It sparkles and glitters with cruel beauty. I ache and I cry. Oh, actually the line is, I ache and cry. And um, 
I, uh, I guess that's about it for now. Okay, uh, uh, Henry Calhoun is going to come up and do some more poetry. Thank you. Well, the, most of these poems here are, are uh, mostly love poems. I was, I was in that state of mind at that particular moment in life. <laughs> uh, so I don't have anything too political, but I guess love is political, I guess, when you think about it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'll read this, I'll read this one, I'll read this one. It's called, uh, this is called Sour Note. I play the tune, a sweet melody, but your love is not true. You take me for a joke, so I hit a sour note. I left a note for your love you totally ignored that. I played the tune. I hit a sour note. I want to take you in my arms, play something jumping to keep your heart pumping. You don't love me. I played the tune. I hit a sour note. I'm not talking about the blues because you turned the blues gray. And you know that's bad on a stormy day. I play the tune. I hit a sour note. So what are you going to do? Feel bad all day long? Talking about crying? I play the tune. I hit a sour note. <laughs> Let me see if I can find another one. This one is called Walls. <laughs> walls, brick walls, hammer, chisel, strike, one chip breaks away, one small indent. Strike again and again, matters fall hard, rocks, stone that has sealed the pathway. I chisel poking a hole, searching for light. Rocky stones hit my face. I want in, I want to see within. The block, blocks of brick, hard rocks that protect your heart. The guard of mass walls that shield your vital parts. One chip at a time, I pry to get in. Inside your heart, inside your mind where the fortified walls you have built seem heavy to carry, keeping all invading thoughts out. Up against the wall I push, I pound, I fall to the ground, fighting your resistance, I hammer, I chisel. I think there might have been another part to that, but I don't see it. <laughs> uh, If you, if you only knew the deepness of my feelings, I dare to dip your hands and feel inside my heart, touch what lives inside of me. I am standing on the edge, the final drop. My heart was, has reached the point where I am afraid of my next thought. I have tried to back away and take a good long look but the deepness of my love for you has my vision totally blocked. All I see is you, all I think is you, 
All I want is you. Please understand my moments of the deepest love I've ever known. If only you knew what lives inside of me, you would change what you feel. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, three more poems and then we're gonna uh, have some food there. Um, um, as I said, like uh, talking about the songwriters from around the country and like, you know, the street corner, the doo-wop singers and, you know, all around the country and the teen idols. And uh, this one was inspired out of that, like coming up as a kid, like uh, um, it's entitled the Splendor of Ghetto Suave, Sweet Expression. And I dedicate this to the tune masters and the tune smiths and the wordsmiths. Um, hey there, lovely lady. Warm, beautiful, sweet, tender, sexy, sincere, and all of them kind of nice things. You're even more to my heart. Lady love, I've searched all of my life, all of my life, looking for your kind of loving tenderness it's beautiful and real. Oh, what is all the sweet love I feel? I see it in your eyes and I feel your love looking through the windows of my world. And my lovely one, your smile is a warm and wonderful reflection of the love that's in your heart. And when I look into your eyes, I find myself saying, my goodness alive, your lips sure look tasty. I'll bet they are very, very sweet. Lady, how are my chances? Very good, I hope. I'd be proud to be your so love a lot anytime, all the time, day and night. Then we can share the beauty and pleasure of evening walks hand in hand, strolling through the park, stop under a palm tree, dancing in the moonlight so we can kiss and hug and whisper sweet somethings. As a warm and lovely summer breeze strums sweet melodies from the strings of tender summer leaves. Baby, you and me together, sweet melody magic as our hearts dance in celebration of the beautiful beginning of our love affair. Hearts touch on this lovely day, sweet love smiles. Now let us listen to the sweet beat of the fallen rain. Beautiful music to our ears, sweet music for our hearts as we dance to love. The next one is entitled, Love is Life. Love is life and life is so very, very nice. When the atmosphere is pleasant and thoughts are peaceful, life for living is like a warm and beautiful feeling, touching me, touching you. As I look into the beautiful horizons, I see children playing warm and safe under the loving eyes of the friendly skies. Vivacious, energetic, and so full of life. And love is life. As the wonderfulness of the day settles in, a lovely lady placed a warm and very sweet kiss on my lips. My heart has been touched and blessed. This beautiful feeling created by me and you was made to be shared. Always remembering the beautiful days of summer. Love is what we make it, and may it always be something beautiful, dear, near our hearts. Love is me touching you. Love is you touching me. Love is being in touch with each other's feelings. Love is giving, sharing, and caring. Love makes two hearts sing in har harmony. Love makes wedding bells ring. Love brings rain to the flowers and trees and helps them grow beautiful and tall. Love is you and me together, living for the love this beautiful life has given us. Love is life. And the final poem, um, again, uh, I'd like to dedicate this to our next uh, President of the United States, uh, Barack Obama, and, and Vice President uh, Joseph Biden, uh, the winning ticket. And this one, uh, as I said, like young people, they are the present and the future. And uh, they're the leaders of tomorrow, so I'd like to dedicate this to all of the young people. And uh, it's a dream and think big, and who knows? You could be the next president, you could be the next governor, the next mayor, or you can be a world famous doctor, a writer. But this one is entitled, Young America, We Need the Light. People of the world, please listen to me. I am the youth of America, and as the beauty of wisdom unfolds and uses the tools of knowledge and time to begin shaping and rounding our character and personalities, let the hands of wisdom hand off the batons of knowledge as generation after generations run eternal marathons of life. Let them run into the beautiful horizon spreading the righteousness of life, the master plan, the way the great creator meant for it to be. Today's youth are tomorrow's leaders. Let them be groomed and endowed with eternal fires of wisdom and life 
as they become knowledgeable and equipped with the tools to build, taking leadership roles today, preparing us for tomorrow's world, as they positively and constructively affect the qualities of life, exerting the necessary direction, leadership, and guidance, so that there may be a better world today and tomorrow for all of us to live in, as their thoughts for progression pyramid to the sky, touching the sun, life's source of energy, as hearts of desire become inspirational sensations, may the wings of life take them into picture-perfect flights as they quest for the dreams of their heart as they endeavor span the universe, taking them near and far. Have no fear, my friends, for the wings of life will take your hearts and minds on an adventurous journey beyond beyond. Let us not complicate life's constructive process and become a society of hybrid thinkers trying to rule a universal airways of communication. True, we need the super minds, those eternal fires of our love, desire, and inspiration in our hearts that help this world we live in grow. Truth is the light of justice, oh, the beauty of balance. May there always be light to guide our souls. Young America, you are the light. Young America, please be the light. Young America, let the light shine because young America, we need the light. And in closing, I would like to thank everyone for part, your participation and your attendance here. Um, 31 years and counting, and um, as you look around, this is uh, um, director of the Bayview Hunters Point Historical Preservation Project, and we've assembled some really wonderful exhibit and artifacts and pictures, and I tell you, it bring back so many pleasant and wonderful memories growing up here in Hunters Point Bayview in 57, and to see all of these wonderful people and their families, and uh, we must protect and preserve our neighborhood history and our city history and our history period. And just a joy, like just briefly, uh, 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 I interviewed Mr. and Miss Smith, they're 96 years old. Their granddaughter, as you see, Chelsea Smith is Miss America in 1996. And uh, some of the pioneers, uh, Pastor uh, Medeiros of uh, Double Rock Baptist Church, Mr. Ellis Finley of Bayview Mortuary, uh, Dr. Waylon C. Fuller, Fuller Pharmacy. And we like to, uh, uh, pay uh, tribute to Joe and uh, Mary of uh, Costanzo's, uh, their uh, uh, sandwich shop that had been there 55 years, and also the longest standing business in the community here, uh, Mazay Hardware. And uh, there's many other businesses. Uh, Pete at um, uh, Sportsman Barbershop, been there 40 years, and uh, Candlestick Barbershop. And like I said, there's a lot of uh, historical uh, places and uh, significant people, and we want to pay homage and tribute to them, and this program is dedicated to them and their hard work and their tireless efforts. And again, we'd like to thank uh, Eric and his staff, and we'd like to thank Linda Brooks Burden and her staff. And again, thank you, and God bless you, and next year, number 32, so good night. All right. <laughs>